Hello folks. Happy Wednesday. Hope your week is going well so far. We started off the week with some beautiful fall weather. And today, for some reason, it's back up to 80 degrees. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll take what we got. It's better than snow. So today, today I am smoking a an ancient uh, Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman. This is the amber stem. That's just how they get if you don't clean them. Uh, and I am smoking a mystery, and I'll explain that later. So, I'm making a video today that has to be made. Um, I'm reluctant to make these videos because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that, that I got. And, you know, I feel bad sometimes doing that because I don't want people to think that I'm saying, you know, you absolutely have to have this thing and, and all that. And also, you know, there's a lot of really generous folks out there. And I don't want anybody to ever feel like they have to send me something. You know, I, I, I feel... I'm overly humbled by this, you know, I really am, and uh, I, I wish I had the, the time and energy to, to repay everyone in kind, and I'm trying to do that, but it's, uh, <sighs> it, it's starting to pile up. But anyway, uh, we got a very generous community, and everybody knows that, and I guess I should just uh, be thankful and grateful for that, and I am, I am very much so. So I got a couple of things I want to show you. Um, really, three sets of things. And the first, I, my friend Josh got in touch with me. Now, Josh, I, Josh, I don't know if you have a YouTube channel. Um, I know you uh, show up on my live streams quite a bit, but I, I could not find your YouTube channel. So if you do have one and you want me to include it in the in the um, description down below. Let me know, and I'll, I'll, hap I'll happily put that in there and shout you out in my next video. But Josh got in touch with me. Josh is a, a really great guy. He lives in Vermont and actually lives not very far from where my dad lives. So I'm hopeful that probably next year when things are back to normal and I can go see my dad, uh, I'll be able to make a side trip and spend some time with Josh. We'll uh, be able to smoke a few bowls and uh, get to know one another a bit better. But I've gotten to know him pretty well through YouTube and emails and things. And he got in touch with me and said, hey, would you like uh, Carter Hall Ashtray? And I said, sure, I like Carter Hall. And he sent me these. These are so cool. So I don't know how well that's going to show up, but in the center there is uh, Carter Hall, uh, which someday the YTPC will own. And around the outside it says, Carter Hall Smoking Tobacco. Now interestingly, these were included in the tubs of Carter Hall. Um, and in my delay, Josh was kind enough to send me two of them. Um, these were included in the tubs of Carter Hall. I say interestingly because these are clearly uh, cigarette ashtrays. Uh, I guess you could use them for cigars, but they're really not going to be very useful for pipes. So I wonder if uh, Carter Hall was actually at one point used as a as a roll-your-own tobacco. Uh, it seems like it wouldn't work very well. It seems like the cut is too large and it's a bit too moist. But anyway, uh, maybe it's just because it was at the time that they were putting these out, it was assumed that everyone that smoked pipes also smoked cigars. I don't know. I just know it's really cool. And thank you, Josh. I'm really glad to have this. Josh also sent me some tobacco. He sent me uh, some vintage uh, tobacco. Carter Hall from the 70s. Uh, some Kentucky Club from, I think he said the 60s. And um, some McBaron Plum Cake, uh, which is not vintage, but is very good. So, haven't had a chance to try any of those yet, but I'm really looking forward to, to, to all of those. So, thank you, Josh. Very much appreciated. The other thing um, that I got in the mail this week was something that I actually ordered, and I'm quite happy about this.
I got my Roadrunner. <laughs> it's a Roadrunner tamper from uh, Buttons for Your Britches. Um, Larry did a great job with these. And, I mean, just can you see the detail in the face there? It's just fantastic. And, you know, I don't know how much uh, thought actually goes into these, but it's remarkable to me how good they feel in the hand sometimes. And this one, if you pick it up with the Roadrunner facing you, so you grab it like this, it's amazing that every single finger has a place to go. I don't know if you can see that, but the thumb winds up resting right in here under this bottom wing and all the other fingers can wrap around the wings very nicely and it just it's just perfect um, and that was true with the uh, the the baseball bat and the bouncing Betty as well they just feel right in your hand and they got just the right amount of weight to, to tan and I also got and this is super cool this is a cannon I love this and the neat thing about this is I had a little toy cannon when I was a kid that was made of brass and sat in a little cast iron base and you can see there are trunnions on the cannon and Larry is making bases for these so if you're interested in that he said get in touch and he can uh, quote you a price I don't think he's going to be making these as a standard item but uh, they're they're very cool so if you're interested in a, in a cannon with a base uh, get in touch with Larry uh, buttons for your britches on you on um, not YouTube, Instagram, and I'll put uh, I'll put his Instagram uh, name down below in the uh, in the description so you can check that out. But uh, man, I love that road runner. <laughs> uh, I really do. I uh, you know I, I know these are not easy to make, but boy, Larry, I'd love a love a wily e. coyote to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I would just sort of make my childhood Saturday morning fantasies complete. <laughs> so, those were all very nice. Uh, you know, I was really happy with Josh's generosity and Larry's craftsmanship and generosity. But then I got another box. And these all came in on the same day. They all came in yesterday. So I, I said on Instagram it was like Christmas in the shop, because it kind of was. Um, so, Steph and Skip Kane, if you don't know who they are, you should. Uh, I'll put a link down below to their channel. Uh, go and sub them instantly if, you, if you're not subscribed, because Steph and Skip have some great videos, and they do some really great live streams. Uh, they're, they're usually Saturday afternoons. I think it's about 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I, I know they're in Texas, so they're on one of those wacky time zones that's not Eastern. <laughs> but uh, they do a great live stream every Saturday. I unfortunately wind up missing it most Saturdays just because of other things that are going on, but I always watch the replay because they're just so much fun. I did catch it on Labor Day. They had a special one where they did a contest, and they do this on many holidays, and it's a sort of... Uh, name that tune kind of contest where they play music and the first person to guess both the name of the song and the artist get a point and then at the end whoever has the most points wins. Now I'm terrible you know I, I do not know popular music at all. Um, I was thinking today that I don't think I listen to anything by anyone that's still alive. <laughs> it's that simple. I, I really don't think that because I listen to the 40 station on uh, Sirius XM, uh, I will listen to the local uh, classical station, WRTI, and uh, then I'll, uh, well, I do listen to modern, well, not modern jazz, but I do listen to jazz, uh, so I'll probably occasionally hear something by someone that's still alive. But, anyway, I somehow came in third in this contest. I, I'm still... I can't believe that happened, but nevertheless, I, I came in third. So I got a prize, and I'm very happy about this. So, first off, the prize was a pouch of uh, Sir Walter Raleigh, which is a great tobacco. And I was happy with that. Um, but, of course, Stephen Skip 
went the extra mile. So here's the tobacco in this really beautiful pipe bag. And I gotta tell you, I think Steph makes these. Um, Steph, if you've got a, I'll show you the tag here. If you've got a website or an Etsy store or something, let me know and I'll happily put that down in the, uh, the description for folks. These are really high quality. Um, they're padded inside. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a, I don't know what that would be called, but like a velour or a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fleece. Um, very soft, will not scratch the pipe, and uh, cinches up nicely. Just a, and, and look at the, the cool uh, pipe motif with a little, uh, I can't pronounce French, but this is not a pipe in French. Uh, harking back to, was it Magritte? I think it was Magritte. Rene. Uh, anyway. Uh, so they were kind enough to send one of these for my wife also. And it was a bike theme. And I think I've got... Yeah. They also gave me a, uh, a neat little mask. Very nice. And this is the bike theme. And my wife, as I was opening the box, without, I didn't even get the card open yet to explain what was what, uh, she saw the bike bag and said, oh, that would be great for my glasses, and took it. So, <laughs> fortunately, it was intended for her. And uh, she's very grateful for that. So thank you guys for, for both of those. But that's not all. Now, I got a hat. And I believe I look goofy in hats, but that's okay. This hat is remarkably worn, and I'm going to wear it because I get cold, and this is great. It's, uh, I don't know enough to say if that's knitted or crocheted or what, but it's very solid, very sturdy, very thick. Um, it's going to be great for the winter. And... Um, Maybe I'll even wear it indoors to replace my fez for a bit. Uh, yeah, the fez is going to come back this year because of the, the lack of hair. But anyway, this is, this is really fantastic. Um, I Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And they included some tobacco beyond the Sir Walter Raleigh. Um, I got a pack of, this is Newminster 400 Superior Navy Flake. I have not had this one. I've had other Newminsters. Uh, looking forward to trying it. And... What I am smoking right now, which was provocatively labeled Mystery Backy. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I've had two bowls of this. I had one uh, yesterday, last, well, early evening, late afternoon, something like that. Right after I opened the box. And now I'm having one now. Um, the tobacco is a very, sorry, a very brownish sort of um, mix. It's got a mix of light and dark brown. Um, I believe it's it's a brown Cavendish, with probably with some burley. The smell, when you open the bag, the smell is very distinctive, and it's got that sweet, sweet sort of chocolatey smell that a lot of crossover blends have. It was very popular with uh, things like that, uh, what's the blend called? Short, shortcut the Mushrooms, uh, and also the Esoterica and Soda Bed. And there's others like that. You know, it, it was really reminiscent of that. And if only if I only had my nose to depend on, I might have said that's what it is. But it has no detectable lot of key in it, and either visually or, or taste. And it's sweet. I think it's got a cocoa, chocolatey cocoa kind of note to it. And the giveaway on the retro hell 
actually just before the retro hell, just when you're loading up for the retro hell, um, there's a very, very distinctive honey sort of note. And it's stronger than, than in a lot of their blends, but it's very um, reminiscent of McBaron. And I'm going to put all that together, and I'm going to guess that this is uh, McBaron honey chocolate. So there's my guess. Uh, it's good. Whatever it is, I enjoy it. I look forward to actually finding out what it is. I hope I don't find out that you guys don't know what it is. Cause, sorry, folks. We had the, uh, the furnace go off there. And the reason is that uh, it also heats the water. And my wife probably is doing some laundry or something upstairs. So anyway, uh, what I was saying was I hope you guys do know what the mystery backy is. Because I... Would really like to know. Uh, it's quite tasty, though. I enjoyed it a lot. So thank you much for uh, for sending that along. Thanks all of you. Thank you, Steph and Skip. Thank you, Josh, and uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, like I said yesterday, it was like Christmas here in the shop. So I got one other thing I want to show you, just because I'm kind of proud of this. Um, customer asked me if I could. Put a stem on a uh, Savinelli. I think this is a 514, and he wanted it to be uh, colored ebonite, and he requested teal. And I thought, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. And this is the end result. Isn't that cool? I uh, I got to admit, I, I was not thinking it was going to look that great, but it doesn't look bad at all. I think it's a nice contrast, and uh, it made a nice stem. It was fun to do this because, and I'll, I'll stick a picture in here because i got some that I'm preparing for an Instagram post, but um, I was whistling the Smurf theme a lot while I was making this stem. Uh, everything turned blue, but it's done, and uh, that'll be off in the mail to its owner uh, tomorrow. Uh, and, by the way, Ron's uh, winning from Saturday will go in the mail tomorrow. And, Josh, I got something going out to you uh, tomorrow as well. I, uh, I'm slowly getting caught up. So, don't have a lot else to talk about. Been working... Uh, both on pipes and, and work work, and uh, both have been keeping me pretty busy. Uh, I will be doing virtual pipe club on Friday, so I hope you can join us for that. Should be a good time, and I might be making a Halloween-related announcement. Uh, not sure yet. We shall see. But uh, we had a great time last Friday with uh, Mike from Briar Blues. That was, a, that was a really good time. And, I mean, for me, the best part of this Friday night live stream thing is getting to, getting to talk somebody, to somebody like Mike or like any of the other people that I've, I've had the chance to talk to. It's just so much fun and so enjoyable. Um, but I got to admit, I, I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for the Virtual Pipe Club, too, because that's just fun. Uh, I, I just, I get a kick out of that, and uh, you guys are, you, you guys are great, and you, you always make me laugh. It's a high point of my week, and I really do mean that. Except for weeks when I get all these packages, no, no. <laughs> it is the high point of my week. So, let me tie this up, because I, I don't want to go too long today. Uh, probably already did, but I had a lot to talk about. So guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Stop by on Friday night, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern for Virtual Pipe Club. And until then, you all take care of yourselves. Bye now.